I lived in the Highland neighborhood in the early 90s. I got to know kids who lived in the neighborhood. Kids who, at eight and nine years old, were full of dreams and knew where they were going and what they wanted to be. But somehow by the age of 11, they had lost that. And the tragedy was clear to me. The one thing that I knew this neighborhood needed was a school that, where kids could get an education that allowed them to keep that dream alive that they had at age eight all the way through high school. I really believe that Escuela de Guadalupe is fulfilling this promise of educating our children. Our students, when they graduate from Escuela de Guadalupe, are graduating at grade level and above and in two languages across all academic subjects. In this rigorous education model, the students are learning to identify themselves with excellence. I think this is really the school of the future. There's one thing we do every night. Read. Creo que es una escuela de alto nivel, la cual sé que al futuro les va a remunerar bastante. Many schools will say that, you know, they will uh, teach a student English who doesn't speak English or teach a student Spanish uh, who doesn't speak Spanish, but how many of them, you know, test higher than their public school counterparts in the language that's not their native language? This is done, this performance that's achieved is achieved with a demographic group that is, is known for dropping out. Next year I'm going to say Nance. Our kids we're seeing now are well prepared for a really competitive school. My name is Everett Hernandez and I'm part of Escuela's first graduating class. My name is Andrea Amaro and I'm going to be in 11th grade at St. Mary's Academy. My name is Daniela Robles and I'm going into 7th grade at St. Mary's Academy. The most rewarding thing for me in, in the context of the graduate support program is, is simply to see how well our kids transition from Escuela de Guadalupe to schools that are really competitive, like a St. Mary's Academy, St. Anne's Episcopal, uh, a Colorado Academy, a Kip Sunshine Peak Academy, where, where they're focused on school. And we hear back from our kids in that first semester of their sixth grade year, you know, we're doing a lot of review. That makes me feel good and like we're right on track with what we should be doing here at Escuela. Mi papá es un orgulloso que que yo trabajo mucho mucho. The values that we teach are universal values that Catholic or not, I think are lacking in um the developmental curriculums in, in other institutions and in our society in general, people are just kind of, they're forgetting how important these things are. Very simple things. Self-respect, respecting others, service to others, uh, following your heart, following your conscience, do the right thing. The Guadalupe Fund is really uh, what makes Escuela de Guadalupe work. It's a very unique school, a very challenging endeavor to support a school for, uh, with so many families who have limited financial resources in a private school kind of fashion. I was really amazed at the dual language program and my father was born and raised in Mexico and I'm bilingual and I just really thought that it would be important for her to have a dual language education. We don't receive a scholarship and uh, we really feel like it's worth the tuition that we pay. I think that's what creates the diversity in the community feel and that's what we like about it. We like the economic diversity and the um, ethnic diversity. I just want every student to have that opportunity regardless of their income or their situation. Yo en lo personal como padre de dos hijos que han estado en la Escuela de Guadalupe, uh, quisiera pedirles eh, su apoyo ya que sé que no es una inversión, una, un gasto más bien es una inversión porque lo veo reflejado en, en la educación y en el conocimiento de cada uno de los niños aprendido en la escuela. My mom wants to watch me that to help the community when I grow up. I really do believe that our students are growing up to be compassionate leaders for the city of Denver, that they will 
provide new perspectives about how our community um, works and be able to provide leadership. Ojalá y que podamos estar aquí bastante tiempo y pues que Dios nos ayude y haya bastantes donadores para seguir aquí en Escuela de Guadalupe. Me siento especial porque sé dos idiomas. In assimilation schools where students are defined by things that they can't do, when expectations are defined by things that parents won't do, there's a dismal belief that children will fail and that there's little that can be done about it. At Escuela de Guadalupe, quality education is really viewed as the fundamental basis of humanitarianism. Escuela is a rare place. I walk through and I see these kids and I say, wow, I wish I could do what they're doing. The most important thing that I learned is uh, how to respect, I think. Because um, I respect the school and the property and my community and where I came from. Because before I probably would have been embarrassed to say that I'm like Mexican, but now like I'm not. Padre nuestro, que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Rega nosotros tu reino, hágase tu voluntad.